Hello, my name is Jeffrey Duber. My name is Gina Ventry. My name is Andrew Fowler, and I've been with COC since the winter of 2020. My name is Marty Gorsuch, and this is my first season with the chorus. I am an alto in my seventh season with the Cleveland Orchestra Chorus. I sing second bass. I sing bass. I started off as a baritone, and now I'm a bass. My name's Emily Austin. My name is Ted Rodenborn. I'm Emily Engel. I'm a tenor. And I sing alto. I sing soprano two. This is my seventh year, and I sing soprano one. This is my 26th season. Uh, this is my fifth year now, I think. I've been in the chorus since September of 2001, so this is my 21st season with the Cleveland Orchestra Chorus. I have several occupations, actually. I worked for the Ohio Attorney General's office for 33 years, and I retired a couple of years ago. I am the general manager of Jerry Coons Quick Car Wash in Parma Heights, Ohio. I am an accountant, and I work at a CPA firm in downtown Cleveland. I'm retired. I'm enjoying being married to my husband. Uh, I'm a, a film and visual arts uh, professional. I am a writer. I am also a standardized patient, which means I act out clinical scenarios for medical students and nursing students. And I have a small but very busy pet sitting business. Music has been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. I started violin and piano quite young. I became absolutely obsessed with opera. My musical background is somewhat limited. I went to, I sang in my high school choir. Um, one summer in college I sang with the Blossom Festival Chorus and that's pretty much it. Not much. <laughs> my background is actually in acting, I'm in the theater. I majored in music in college and voice, uh, but music education, but voice was my instrument. Concentrated in voice and clarinet and um, I've been a music teacher for the last 24 years. So I started out as a band kid. Uh, musical background, I have first started off playing the bagpipes actually at age six. Uh, from there I began vocal music in high school, uh, which is where I also joined the Cleveland Orchestra Youth Chorus my sophomore year. So I started out as a music education major and then I ended up switching to accounting. And when I made that switch, I promised myself that I would still have music as a big part of my life. Uh, there's so many reasons, I think, why somebody should audition for the chorus. Um, first of all, just the opportunity to sing um, with the world-famous Cleveland Orchestra, and that's not hyperbole. I mean, it is an amazing experience to sing with Cleveland Orchestra. The members of this chorus are some of the finest people you will ever meet. I would say the people are phenomenal. Um, we just have so many people of different backgrounds. There's nothing that I know of in, in the world that is a better equalizer than music. What amazes me is that I have never left a rehearsal in all those years that I haven't felt better when I leave than I did when I got there. It's we all just simply come together for the simple love of great music. And it has made me a, mu a better musician in every way. Honestly, it was intimidating at first, <laughs> the level of musicianship in the room. Something that surprised me when I joined the chorus was how many people in the chorus have been in the chorus for so long. So at my first rehearsal, I met quite a few people that had been in the chorus for longer than I've even been alive. I think what surprised me when I first went into the chorus, and I'm still sort of surprised and it's amazed by the number of years that um, so many people have been in the chorus. I mean, when I first started, I would, you know, there's people were in, and still, 30, 35, 40, 45 years. It's amazing, and it just demonstrated to me the commitment that people have towards the chorus, and, and obviously how much they love being in the chorus and here I am now in my you know 20 20 years 21st year of being in the chorus so I think that's something that sort of uh, um, surprised me it's super cool when they take us on tour take us to New York or take us to Europe I mean why not let's go hearing the, you know an intro of a Christmas piece or you know the first uh, heavy downbeat of a classical piece it just makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up and there's been no other ensemble uh, like it. 
at all. My favorite part of being in the chorus is making music with my fellow choristers and the fellowship that comes with doing hard things together. This is an organization that I feel is really important to the community and so it makes a lot of sense to donate your time to help out an organization like that. What, what it's like to, to sing with the Cleveland Orchestra um, is just, it's, it's wow. It's just a wow moment when you just, all of a sudden you're there and you're, you're in Severance Hall and you're watching the orchestra and they start to perform and you just almost can't believe that you're part of this organization. It's very exciting. Something that I'd like potential members to know is to not be afraid of the audition. I know that auditions are usually nerve wracking, but don't let that stop you from auditioning. On the website, there's a lot of information of what to expect when you go through the audition, and you'll be glad that you did in the end. I know for me personally, it was one of the best decisions I've made. I mean, why not? It's the best. 